Fifth graders, today we're going to continue working with fractions and multiplication. Now in this video it's going to mention work that you're doing in your math journal and I realize that you don't have your math journal at home, that's okay. The intent is that you pay close attention and think about what is going on in the process and then when you are working in school tomorrow it should make that work a little bit more clear to you. Today we're going to talk about how that word of means multiplied. Okay? When I see a problem that says find one-third of two-thirds, I can basically take a multiplication symbol and put that right over the top of that word of. It means one-third times two-thirds. Even if it's a problem like with a whole number, like what is five-sixths of 24? That means to do five-sixths times 24. So from now on, I want you to think that word of, when you hear that word of, you know that you need to multiply. Okay, so this is on your journal page 264, and you should be working this in your journal, okay? Let's use the rectangle at the right to sketch how we would fold paper to help us find one-fourth of three-fifths. What is one-fourth of three-fifths? Okay, so first, let's do that problem. We need to make fourths. You should be making yours in your journal right now. And we need to shade one-fourth. Okay, then our second fraction is three-fifths. So now we need to make three-fifths. This are sometimes hard to, to make a picture of, but just do the best that you can. Okay, so we need to make three-fifths here. So I'm going to divide my strip going the other direction into fifths, and I need to shade three of them. Remember, I'm going to shade in a different direction. That's especially important when you're just using a pencil, when you don't have two different colors. Okay? And now we need to look at what parts were double shaded. Okay? We have this box here, this box here, and this box here. So what is one-fourth of three-fifths? It would be three out of how many total boxes? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. 3 twentieths. Okay, that's the answer to our question. Now, remember I told you to think of that word of as multiplying. So look here at number 3. Let's rewrite 2 thirds of 3 fourths using the multiplication symbol. So we're going to write 2 thirds, and instead of saying of, we're going to put a multiplication sign there, 3 fourths. Okay, that's what that means. Now, I want you to take a look at what answer did we get? 3 twentieths? Well, here's the cool thing about multiplication. Oh, this is a different problem. Different problem. Let's go back to this problem here. Let's say we had rewritten one-fourth of three-fifths. Okay, I want you to do this in your journal, too. So we're going to rewrite it as one-fourth times three-fifths. Here's the really cool thing about multiplication. What is one times three? Three, right? What is four times five? Twenty, right? When we multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators, look what we got same answer as our paper folding technique showed us. Pretty cool, huh? When you multiply fractions, it's a little different than adding and subtracting fractions because you actually multiply the numerators and you multiply the denominators. The denominator does not need to be common and it does not stay the same in your answer. We actually multiply it 
the answer is um, the product. So if we were to find the answer to these, we could do an area model like this and find the answer. Or we could also think, well, 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 4 is 12. So I know my answer is 6 twelfths, but I also know that can be reduced to 1 half. And if 